7900 XTX. Going to test a few hash rates here. Um, it's good. Um, still coming up here, but just completely stock. We're doing 95 souls already at, okay, like 380 watts. So that's not great. But let me turn up the memory. Actually, let's turn down the memory. Let's turn down the power a little bit and let's see what happens. All right, so we're still at like 96 souls, 297. Looks like we are at actually a little bit less than that. Or no, 310, 310 watts for the GPU, according to the wall. So uh, if I drag voltage down, frequency down a little bit more, it'll get unstable on flux. I can't drag the memory down to save energy. I do have fast timings enabled. It'd be nice to get it into Hive, but I don't think the Linux drivers support it yet. So oh, we just got to crash. But anyway, it's pretty stable at like 95 souls at 300 watts. So let's try some other algos. Okay. I'm dumb. I couldn't get almost anything to load straight out of the actual config, so I loaded up NiceHash just because it seems to load the most recent version of a lot of miners, and it also has Excavator, which is NiceHash's own software development. So yeah, uh, stock. This is stock memory, stock timing, stock power limits, stock core voltage, everything. Most of this is at 380 watts. Um, with overhead backed out. Uh, looks like it does 96 or 97 mega hash on ether ETC hash. Auto Lycos, I don't know if that's a fluke or not. I don't know. It drew a lot of power, uh, but 776 mega hash on that would be amazing. Neoscript, I'm not familiar with, but 3.092 mega hash. There's another ETH ETC hash there. Um, we have ETC hash, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kapow, 55 right out of the box. It's pretty impressive. Uh, Z hash. Don't know what that is. Um, Flux. It does do 101 on... I forget what it was that I, I loaded first at stock. Um, but yeah, it should do over over 90 with reasonable power after we get some tuning going here. Zhash again, 117 mega hash, 150. Um, Flux again in the 90s. And then a lot of these miners just don't support it yet. So that's a rough idea of hash rates stock. Obviously, the mem hardened algorithms, you're going to get better performance once you enable fast timings and start doing some OC. Uh, core algorithms, you're probably looking at these numbers. I can't get Casper to launch it all. Uh, I don't have any radiant miners, so please don't ask. But yeah, Kapow, you can get a little bit more out of that because that does use memory as well. Ergo uses memory, so you can get more out of that. But Flux, seriously, 100 souls. We just have to figure out how to get the power to come down. Um, once again, this is a Hynix memory card, so power consumption is not going to be perfect, but if they ever release a Samsung version of the Navi 31, we should be in pretty good shape. But yeah, that's uh, that's the mining sit rep of the 7900 XTX. Kind of really basic uh, in, well, I guess two days after launch in 2022. So... This will improve over time, so did Navi 21. Um, the power consumption on those cards basically cut in half after uh, we finally got optimization. So I would recommend if you have one of these and you are planning to do any MEM hardened algorithms, pull off the back plate, get some two mil thermal pads and place thermal pads between the backside of the memory chips and the metal back plate. This does suffer from the same issue as the 6700 XT reference where MEM temps are about 90 C out of the box. So even if you game with it, I would recommend doing that probably. But yeah cool card really a monster um 3080 to 3090 even 3090 ti in some senses um as, uh, as far as mining performance is concerned and gaming too i guess it's even a little bit better there so impressive impressive piece of hardware still a thousand bucks it's a lot of money especially right now when all the old cards are cheap but uh this thing's great i really i like it other than the coil line this thing is phenomenal